Gotta keep the devil down in the hole. Hey everybody, this is Dead Winter Dead with another Battlefield 4 video for you. Today we're going to be looking at C4. Now I know typically the engineer class is the class that is tasked with taking out vehicles on the battlefield. I do it with the support class for, for several reasons. One, you can carry C4. Two, you can supply yourself with C4, which means you've got an endless supply of, of ammunition to take down vehicles all day, every day. Now this uh, first part is gonna show you some things on how C4 reacts on the vehicle itself. We're gonna place one package of C4 on the rear of the vehicle, detonate it, and we'll see what the damage is. As you can see, it does 50. So that being said, Two pieces of C4 should completely destroy a tank. One, two, and boom goes the dynamite. So we have a completely destroyed tank. So you need to make sure that you get two, at least two pieces of C4 on a main battle tank to destroy it. Now this demonstrates that it doesn't matter where you put the C4, it will do the same amount of damage. I put it on the side, and again, it does 50. This last one, is key. Let's say you're chasing a tank, you manage to get one piece of C4 on the vehicle, but the other piece just barely misses him, and, and it's on the road, but near the vehicle. You detonate it, you don't get the destroy. As you see, it's about down to six, then it counts down to four. So, eventually the vehicle will burn out and destroy itself, but if you don't get two pieces of C4 on that vehicle, you will not get the instant kill. That means the driver will be able to get out of his vehicle, hunt you down, and gun you down because you're still holding your C4 detonator most likely. So you have to make sure that you do get both pieces on the uh, the actual vehicle itself. Now these are just some clips of me running around blowing up vehicles with C4. Um, I'll go through the motions on 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 what I'm uh, you know what I'm thinking and how to approach a vehicle. Like I've said before in past videos, the easiest vehicles to destroy with C4, the easiest armored vehicles to destroy with C4, are the AA gun, or the AA uh, platforms. And that's because they only have one player in them, and that one player can only look in one direction at one time. So when you see those guns point off into the sky to take out a friendly air vehicle, you can sneak up to the side and take them down without having to worry about a second player sitting in the machine gun seat. Here a tank and I are playing cat and mouse, and I realize, you know, like he, he knows where I am, I know where he is, and there were there were uh, two guys in it. So you just kind of gotta you gotta bide your time, and you have to wait for that opportune moment to get in there. Um, this one is another way to go about it. I couldn't actually get to the vehicle, but I spotted him on my mini map. I threw down the C4 on the road behind him and waited for him to back up over it. As soon as he backs up over it, you detonate it. And it's it's just as good as putting two pieces of C4 on the vehicle as long as they it's directly over where you planted them. But you got but remember if you're chasing a vehicle and you only get one piece of C4 on there, you're only gonna do 50% damage uh, to a main battle tank. And that driver will still be alive, which means he can get out and hunt you down. Now there are some sometimes when you really don't want to uh, you don't want to play the cat and mouse game because you know eventually he's gonna find you or that main gun splash damage is really really gonna you know whittle your health down and basically it's just a waiting game they know they have armor and they know they have fire superiority which means they can just take you down and wait you know just whittle your health down with that splash damage so sometimes you have to run up and you have to go in and get that kill quickly and effectively. Anyway guys, my name is Dead Winter Dead. This was a look at how to use C4. I hope it helped you guys out. Thanks for watching.